All right. If you're watching on Facebook, hey, let me set up Clubhouse really quick. Um, but you're going to want to stay right here on Facebook because I'm actually going to be sharing my screen via Zoom today. So if you are from the membership and you want to ask me questions, make sure that you are actually in the Zoom live stream so that I can answer your questions live because I'm going to have another screen open um, letting people into the free group so they can see the replays during. Um, I know that's a lot of things to remember, but if you have questions and you're in the membership, come join the Zoom. I shared the link last night in the membership Facebook group. All right, let's go over here. If you're on Clubhouse, hey, hello, how are you? I'm really excited to be here today. I'm going to be pinning a link at the top so you can come join the free Facebook group where I am going to be sharing uh, my screen today. Let me copy this link, copy link, paste. All right. And there we go. And let me close that. So that opens up a document that's actually a ClickUp document. So you can see my notes for today, as well as the link for the Facebook group, which if you ask to join, I will see your request and I will let you in. All right. So today is our part four of our eight part series for content creation strategies and tips that don't suck and you can actually implement and so that you can figure out what really works best for you. So what we're going to be doing is, um, I'm going to be sharing my screen today. So you can actually see the system that I'm going to be using. And basically you can learn all about my content creating system that I use that works so amazingly well that I'm working on revamping my content generator. Um, if you don't know what the content generator is, then stick around because we're going to talk about it a whole lot. But last year I released the content generator and it was essentially a glorified Google sheet. Okay. Glorified Google sheet that generated content ideas for you based on your information that you put into the questions that I asked um, by way of a sheet. So it would auto-populate information in there and you would then click over to the month of choice and it would give you content ideas based on the day. Well, the biggest comp, the biggest complaint, honestly, that I got was number one, okay, the content ideas are great, but how am I supposed to organize it? <laughs> how am I supposed to make sure that I actually implement this? And I was like, whatever works for you. And then I sent them on their way. And I didn't like that. It didn't feel good. I like being more well-rounded for people. So what I did was I created the revamp to the content generator. So if you bought it last year, you're getting grandfathered into the new version because that's just how I work things. Um, but if you don't have it yet and you want it, you can purchase the old one now as like the pre-sale, whatever. And then you will get the update when I release it, which should be by the end of the year. Um, I'm working out some kinks before I send it out to my testers and then they're going to test it and let me know what they think. But before we get into the screen sharing of the actual work of the generator, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more about, okay, what is the series that you're watching right now? So this series that you're watching right now is my eight part content creation series, where I'm going to literally be taking you through the things that I do for my own personal content creation, as well as how I have set things up for my social media management agency, where we create content for our clients, we have them approve it, we work it through the process, and the whole team can stay involved and up to date on all of the pieces to the puzzle, right? That is the whole goal. You want a strategy that you can implement as a solopreneur that can grow with you, that will withstand adding new people to your flow, adding new pieces to the puzzle, changing up things. If you're an ADHD entrepreneur like me, you are able to ebb and flow with your creative style, which if you can see in the background, if you're in the Facebook group, you can see in the background here that um, I have multiple chair options. I have one right next to me that you can't see. I'm sitting on an ottoman right now, and I also have a big comfy 
seat chair behind me, which just shows you that I need to change things up often. <laughs> so if you resonate with that, you're in the right place. Cause I'm going to teach you how to do that with your content system. So you don't confuse the heck out of yourself later on when it comes time to actually create and post the content. So this is part two of our wildly easy content creation tools of the series that I'm doing. Last week, I talked about where to find inspiration for content and how to really figure out what actually inspires you and how to go about that. This week, I'm deep diving in actually what I use, going to show you the ClickUp system that I use and talk about the generator a lot. I'm going to be talking about an offer that I have. This is not pitching. I mean, I guess you could call it pitching, but I'm literally going to show you everything about it, how I use it and why it's amazing. And if you feel so called to add it to your rep of things that you use, then let me know and I can hook you up with it. If not, that's totally fine. If you want to try to make it yourself, go for it. But I've spent a whole bunch of hours creating this. So I create something again that you could easily just click add to cart for, right? So today I'll be sharing what I use, obviously. And I'll also be going through other things that have worked for me and my clients in the past. Um, so something that I've already said that you should know about me, I am an ADHD entrepreneur reiterating that. So you'll want to hear how I do cycle through different organizational systems to keep me in my most creative and still stay organized. I'm going to reiterate that last part to keep me creative and still stay organized. I cannot stay in a creative state by continuously falling into a routine. There's something about me that has to be shaken up so that I get more creative and then I'm in that creative jive that then like boosts the content creation. So you're probably wondering, okay, well, what worked for you in the past that led you to this massive system that you're going to show us today? <laughs> what a great question. So before things that have worked for me and my clients and my social media management agency in the past included things like Google Sheets, Google Docs, um, Trello, I even tried Asana at one point, um, the notes app on the phone, and let's go through a few of the things that ended up not working well for me and my agency on each of these pieces. So I, with Google sheets and Google docs, it was fine for like brain dumping and building out content. Like you can create some sort of organizational system within sheets and documents if you want. But then we came to this issue where clients were getting overwhelmed. They were getting confused. They were deleting things and didn't notice that they were deleting things. And then it was just creating a struggle. Then there was the issue of having so many documents and sheets that were live that were needing to be looked at. And then I was having literally like 47 different tabs open, confused. The last piece of the, the conversation was... Um, a client left a note or a comment in one part of the Google sheet or the Google doc, and I couldn't find it again. So there was just like disorganization and chaos ensuing from Google sheets and Google documents. And again, this is just my personal and agency experience. So if you use Google sheets and docs and you love it, and it's not a problem for you, then fine. That's totally fine. Don't fix what ain't broken. But if you're using Google sheets and Google docs and you are feeling just like you hate every single moment of every single day that you're trying to figure out how to run your business and serve your clients well, let's look at something else. <laughs> now with Trello, this has been kind of like a touchy subject to talk about because <laughs> people like people that use Trello are obsessed with Trello. I used to use Trello. I loved Trello until they made the big changes on like how many boards you were able to have on the free version. And then you'd have to start paying. And then the automations were very confusing. The ones that you had access to, um, granted, this was a year and a half ago that I used Trello last. Um, and I also was not a huge fan of only being able to organize things in the Kanban view my brain works in different ways. Like I just shared with you, ADHD brain, I need to look at things different to boost that creativity. So um, only having one way to look at it was just not helping me to see other angles of how I could represent content, of how I could strategize things, of how I could organize things. So um, in addition to those pieces, Trello was a struggle for me because um, it may have been me using it, but I was exiting out of the wrong screen or I was moving over to something else while I had a card open, adding something to the description. 
and it wouldn't, it didn't auto save. Now, if they auto save now, then that's a great update that they've made. But when I was using Trello, it did not auto save. So I was literally losing paragraphs and buckets of content because it just didn't save it automatically for me. So that was a big like downfall for Trello for my personal and agency use. Um, and then last but not least, the notes app on the phone, like that's fine for your own personal content. However, when you start looking down the barrel at 400 notes, <laughs> we need a better organizational system so that you can then create a strategy to repurpose that content that's living in your notes app. So if you're liking using the notes app, I have a solution for you that can help you better organize and still resemble an app on your phone. Now, when you're looking at figuring out what kind of system works really well for you, there's, I have a list of four things. If you're in the clubhouse room and you click the document, um, you, you can see these things, but if you're not seeing that, then I want you to think about when you're getting these content ideas, where are you? And when are these content ideas hitting? So for example, for me, like, <laughs> I get a lot of ideas in the shower while I'm driving or changing a dirty diaper. Like that, it's just how the, the cookie crumbles for me. <laughs> so strange, but I need a content idea collecting system that can support me in those moments. Now the shower situation, uh, that's hard because I, I keep a towel on my phone near the, the shower. So if it happens, I can like wipe my arm off and like do my situation and then hop back in the shower. Y'all have a lot of hair. So it takes me a long time to like rinse out my hair. And that's like usually when the content ideas happen, this hair is big because it's full of content ideas, not secrets. <laughs> um, So we're going to talk about that um, verbal dumping of ideas here in just a minute. But when those content ideas hit, what do you have access to? Like, do you have access to your computer? Do you have access to um, your cell phone, your mobile phone, your iPad? What do you have access to? For me, the verbal dump of the content idea is the easiest because I can talk for hours and it usually brings up more interesting thoughts when I'm verbally dumping so that it will create more potent and more reusable opportunities for that content piece. So I use the verbal dump so much more. Plus there's also the opportunity that if it was a long verbal dump, you could create a podcast episode really easily with it. So For me, since I have a podcast, I'm like, yes, verbal dumping is easiest. Let's make it easy for me to access on my mobile phone. But that's where the verbal and the mobile aspects end for me. I absolutely hate batching content on my phone. Like, don't make me type it with my thumbs. Please don't. (laughs) Just absolutely not. Like, immediately no. So what I prefer to do when I'm batching my content, when I'm completing the process, when I'm creating the graphics, when I'm getting technical with the finishing touches, I like to be on my computer sitting, looking at a bigger screen with all of my fingers doing the tippity tapping on the keyboard. So with that, those are two important pieces to the puzzle for me. Um, And then the next thing I want you to think about is what will you actually try to use? Do you absolutely hate using your mobile phone? Okay. Well, your mobile phone. What are we in the 1999s? Um, Do you absolutely hate being on your cell phone? Okay. There might be some things that we have to talk about because you might have to try utilizing a system that is on your phone. So that does have access to the cloud, because if you've ever been around a toddler, or if you've ever had too many sticky notes laying on your desk, something's going to get lost. Something will not make it through the whole process. So getting it into the cloud so you can have better organization of it, access to it wherever you need it, or even allow people on your team to access it, to allow you to have additional support. That is the whole goal. So we want to make sure that we're getting it onto the cloud. So figure out something that will enable your, your, creativity and the content ideas to hit and then be collected and then supports you when you're batching it, takes into account what you want to actually try to use, and then also thinks forward into the future for if you wanted to outsource content creation or if you wanted to rope in somebody to support you in the content creation process, 
would it be an easy process to integrate someone into? So these are really important pieces to think about. So no, my strategy is not the end all be all. If you hate it, then you don't have to use it, but maybe it's something that you're willing to try. So let's jump into what I actually use. So like I said, my content ideas come to me when I'm in the most inopportune situations, <laughs> whether I'm driving in the car, whether I am washing my hair, whatever. So what I have done is I have two different opportunities for myself to create these content idea dumps from my phone. Number one is I have on my home screen, I've saved a form that dumps into my content generator that I'm going to show you guys that literally allows me to tap the app, dump the idea, hit submit. And when I hit submit, it dumps it into my content generator so that it's collected and it is literally seen when I go in to figure out what content I'm going to be batching next. So I can see if I want to add it into my upcoming flow of content, or if I have a better idea of when I want to post it so that then it gets added to the batching queue when it needs to be. And everything is hunky dory. <laughs> Nothing is lost. All of the, the bomb ideas you have are collected, right? Then the second thing that I have is I have this pointer cursor thingy on my phone. Literally don't know what else to call it other than that. I think it's one of the assistive devices on your settings on your iPhone. Don't ask me about Android. I'm sorry if you're an Android user. I have no idea what the option for you is. You, you would be best Googling um, for the little pointer thingy. But on iPhone, if you uh, go into the settings, a little pointer cursor thingy, um, you can select shortcuts for it. So for mine, when I long press on my pointer thingy, it opens up my voice memos app which is amazing because what I can do with that is then if I have an idea and I'm driving in the car, I don't even have to look at my phone. All I have to do is just long press and I have like a magnetic thing on the back of my phone. So it's literally sitting face height. So all I have to do is like one finger long press on my pointer thingy on my phone. And then it pops open my voice memos app and it immediately is recording. So I can just dump out the idea, see where else it takes me verbally take myself on a journey of this idea. If I have additional ideas from there, let them rip. And then what I'll do is I'll either send it immediately over to ClickUp or this takes a few extra steps. And I usually do this when I'm not driving, obviously, but I'll save that voice memo to my files on my phone. And then I'll upload the file into my form that I have saved as an app on my home screen. So again, that takes a few extra moments, but since I verbally dump with more potency and more impact, then that's something that I take that extra five seconds to save to my phone and then upload into my content dump app that I've created. Um, so that's what I do. <laughs> that sounds like something interesting to you and you want to figure out how to do that pointer thingy. I actually have a reel on my page. You'll probably have to scroll for quite some time, um, but it literally shows you how to create that as a... Um, a thing on your phone. Wow, that was really helpful. That was not, that was a weird thought process there. <laughs> okay. So second piece of puzzle. So first piece was idea capturing on the go. Second piece is content batching. So you've gotten your ideas. Now it's time to further execute, create the content, batch it out. I've told you guys over and over again, I'm obsessed with ClickUp for this. It assigns to me the content idea. So when I submit it through my content idea form app on my phone, it assigns the content idea to me, puts it on my to-do list, which allows me to then go into the calendar view within ClickUp, the additional views I told you, different than Trello, you can see it easily in the same place, same board, if you will, um, just a different view of the content. You can view it in calendar mode so you can see what content is coming up so that then you can get ahead of the curve and start making sure that that content is ready to go out in advance so that you are on top of it, creating more content consistency and getting over that slump that you felt like you were in, right? Now, last piece of the puzzle is actual posting of content. Y'all literally automate everything that you can. Automate every single thing that you can. And when you get more ahead of your content creation, you've got more ideas, you've got more things to batch and you're working finalizing the batching process into your weekly 
system, your weekly time blocking, your weekly business, then you are going to be able to get on top of these things more and be able to feel better in control of your content so that you can automate things. Because right now where you're probably sitting is you're at this like intersection of, I don't have any ideas. I'm always posting the same day. I'm never going to need to automate because I'm never going to be consistent. Well, we're going to switch that mindset here. You're going to be able to captivate these ideas. You're going to be able to capture them. You're going to be able to visualize what's upcoming and how you need to have your strategy in your caption so that everything makes sense and an underlying clarity key, as I call it, then you're going to be able to automate everything you can. You're going to be able to, with this content generator that I've created, there's a section where if you choose to, you can connect Zapier so that it integrates with the content generator so that when the content is ready to be posted and you've indicated as such within the boards, it will literally take over and post it for you. Now this only applies to single image, um, single image media. So like an Instagram post with one graphic, not a carousel or a Facebook post with one graphic, not an album. Um, It also does LinkedIn. You can do Pinterest, but you have to have paid Zapier. And it'll also do um, GIFs. So GIFs or GIFs or whatever you call them, it'll also post those for you. So those are a whole bunch of pieces of content that you can literally just tell your content generator that it's ready to post and it will take over the rest of it for you. (laughs) Everything else you'll have to um, go and schedule through Facebook Creator Studio, but that's free. So if you can get ahead of the curve and it takes you five seconds to copy and paste that content over and to hit schedule, then you're, you're doing really well. (laughs) So that is my flow of my content idea capturing, whether it's for me or my clients. Granted, I'm not doing the idea capturing necessarily for the clients. They have access to the idea capturing app. Um, We make sure that it's on their phones for them just in case they see something because they are the, they are the professional. They are the expert in what they do. So we want to make sure that they have access to influence this content that we are creating for them so that they can be still visible in what we're doing for them. Hold on a second. Okay. I'm going to deal with that in a minute. We're almost done here. Okay. So I wanted to give you guys a tour of the content generator. (laughs) So let's do that. Let me share my screen. And if you are on Clubhouse listening or you're listening on the podcast when I'm repurposing this in the future from now, um, make sure that you go to the website, dynamiccontentgenerator.com. You will be able to watch the tour of the generator when it is all complete. So here we go. (laughs) Let's do... I always get like nervous when I'm sharing my screen, make sure I do the right thing. Okay. So you should be able to see. My click up and let me make sure that you can really quick. All right. Okay, you can. Perfect. Okie dokie. So. You're in my ClickUp right now. These are the notes that I made. Um, Something super cool that they did with documents here lately is you can create a document and share it with a public link and it literally looks like a landing page. Like how cool is that? Literally made this available on Clubhouse so that you can pin links so that Clubhouse users can see this in real time. They have access to the additional links that I wanted to share with them and they have the notes. They can screenshot it. Boom, right there. (laughs) All right, so come tour the generator with me. Now, granted, it is a little messy because it is still in formulation steps. So I've been utilizing it for my own content creation and um, adjusting the pieces to the puzzle to make sure that it makes 100% sense and it's not too overwhelming. If you've never used something this potent before, you're gonna wanna make sure that if you purchase the content generator that you also join the Wildly You membership because I am going to be hosting a lot of content creation power hours in there as additional support. 
for those that are receiving the content generator, which all of my members are going to be receiving the content generator. I just decided that this morning while I was straightening my hair. <laughs> so if you remember and you're watching this, yay, you get a generator and you get a generator. That's my Oprah moment. <laughs> um, so that's also a perk. If you join the um, membership and you stay in the membership before it launches officially, the generator launches officially, you'll also get a generator for free. So come join us and stick around. Um, anyways, let's talk about the generator here. So the first things first, I'm the realist. No, this is the realist. You're going to have a user manual. This is in the depths of me making sure that you can access it, but it'll be a document. So it won't be like tasks. You'll have the document. You'll have steps on how to do it. There's literally like information about how to freaking use ClickUp because ClickUp is a beast, but I don't want you to be overwhelmed with it. I've also linked in here my uh, um, biz bestie friend, Casey Ackerman. She's a ClickUp queen. I am not. I know enough to be dangerous, but if you need additional help figuring out how to use ClickUp, Casey's going to be one of my testers for this. So she'll have backdoor information about how to use the generator and she can also help you integrate your business into ClickUp. So fun fact about that. But the first thing that you'll be instructed to do is you will go to generate. So this is all filled out. So when you click the folder, it shows you everything within the folder and these things are within the folder. So what you'll click is step one, generator entry form. And it will populate. My internet is slow in here because I'm using a whole bunch of things right now. <laughs> but it'll populate and you'll see this form pop up. I also walk you through how to add this as a app on your phone, or you can bookmark it on your internet browser, just in case this ClickUp view overwhelms you. There are ways to get around it so that you can utilize how potent this thing is, okay? Disclaimer. <laughs> so here's the content generator form entry. You literally tell it all that you want to tell it. There's a whole bunch of questions. You can fill this out multiple times. I encourage you to fill it out multiple times. You can also use, um, I'm going to add into your user manual opportunities to kind of trigger your brain to help you fill this form out. So the way that I want you to think about filling the form out is think about an upcoming launch or an upcoming content theme or idea that you had, right? And then fill out the generator very specifically for that idea that you had. So try to avoid using commas or slash marks because you can't decide on what is better. I would rather you fill out the form multiple ways than do the slash marks because that is going to mess with the actual generation of content ideas that it does for you. And it's just going to look like a dump of random words that are smooshed together because I have automation set up that pulls information from different pieces of the form that you're seeing. Um, and it puts it into sentence structure for you so that it gives you content ideas. And when you add too much information, it then doesn't make sense. And you're like, well, this didn't help me. So if you find that's happening a lot, and you've got the generator, let me know. And we need to figure out how to get your brain to work better, play nice with the generator because it, it, it you're probably overdoing it <laughs> and that's okay. I'm here to help you with that. So you add all of the information that you want with this. And then at the end, you see check boxes for what kind of content you'd like to be on the table for this form entry. So this comes into play if you're like, well, this would be really great to have some Pinterest pins about. I'd really like to create some emails with this. Oh, maybe a YouTube video would be cool. Definitely some clubhouse rooms, like click the boxes because that will come into play um, later when we tell the form that we want to put it on different platforms. So you fill in the form, okay? And then here's, just, I'll put... I'll do a Z in all of them so you can see. Yeah, it's not going to show you really good content ideas, but I have other content that's in here that I used the generator for that I can then show you. So I'm going to hit generate. Boom, that was some wildly good content. <laughs> all right, so we completed step one. Step two is right underneath step one. We click that. And then we review the generated content. Now, the stuff that I put in there is just to show you how it dumps into here. So I'm going to minimize this. I'll show you that in a minute. 
But do you see how it created, this is called a new task. And it created a task with subtasks so that you can then know that all of these came from this form entry. So every form entry gets its own task with generated content ideas as subtasks. Now that I reiterated that really clearly, we're going to continue. So as you can see, there are automatically, so it did 21 for us. It did 21 content ideas, and I'm going to be automating, uh, like, I think two dozen more, hopefully two dozen more for you so that you can see different ways you can package the idea that you put into the generator, the, the form entry. So you can see there's a whole bunch of ideas here. Some of them even have um, content in the description when you click on it of how you could better go about creating content for it. So I'm literally coaching you on how to create really good content for that idea that it generated, which goes above what the original content generator was doing. It was literally just spitting out content ideas, throwing it on a calendar and being like, good luck. Now you have more coaching without me actually being there, without you having to do an intensive with me or anything like that. So. Oh, look, it actually did 30 content ideas. So that's good to note that uh, ClickUp sometimes takes a few minutes to generate everything. So then you can go through these things. You can see, okay, well, I really like this idea. So I'm going to go over here into the ready to build column and I'm going to click yes. I really want to make this a content idea. So what this is going to do is it's going to move anything that I tell it that I want to build out over into step three which is part of the batching process. So we've generated content. We've decided that we want to batch out these pieces. So now we go down to step three and we need to assign it to its primary platform. Primary platform, because if you clicked any of the um, TikTok, Pinterest check boxes in the form, it'll also carry that over so that then you have that content within their own list, just in case you get overwhelmed, which I'll get to in a second. So when you're in step three, assigning content to a platform, <clears throat> you can then tell it where you want it to go. So what platform do we want it to go on? Well, I want it to go on Instagram. Instagram is going to be the main platform that I'm going to focus on for this. So we're going to put it here. All right. So it removes itself from this because we already gave it a platform and it doesn't need to be here anymore. Um, there might be a bug that I need to figure out why it did two of them. So it should not do two of them, but it did one and it moved it over to the Instagram spot. So we're in step four now. Step three was assigning the content to the platform. We did that. Step four is you can look at it by the platform or you can look at it in the big batch folder. So remember when I said that if you click the actual folder level of the hierarchy and click up, It'll show you all the contents. That's what we're doing right now. So I clicked this. So it's going to show me everything that I have on my batching plate to work on. And if I wanted to assign a due date, which I like to assign a due date as the posting date. So I know when it needs to go up just in case I forget about it or just in case it um, got pushed to the back burner of my to-do list items. Um, I can make sure that that content still goes out when it needs to go out by the due date because it puts it on my um, to-do list, which is the home screen on ClickUp, but I'm not going to get into that yet <laughs> at, or at all in this video. <coughs> so here's the one that we're working on right here. So you're experiencing Z. Have you been there? Blah, 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 blah. This is the one that I generated with you guys on this video. And you can see here that we allocated it to Instagram. That it's an idea and maybe I'm gonna work on it right now. So for this, I'm gonna take you over this way too. So within step four of batching, we have a whole bunch of ideas. So I know that if you guys are ADHD entrepreneurs like me and you have all these ideas right up front, you're like, oh my God, I could do this on Clubhouse and I could do this with my Pinterest pins and this is a really great keyword that I could teach that I could target or, oh my gosh, this would be a really great caption. I've literally made access to all of the pieces of all of the content forms that you could create right here. 
So yes, this can be a little overwhelming, but it is all here that you can see at the top. You can see all of the ideas. Do you want to make a podcast out of it? Here's a great idea. So any of these pieces, if you fill in any of these pieces, you're going to be able to maximize your content, maximize your efforts without having to rack your brain and be like, wait, what did I want to do again with this? So in addition to that, um, so say, okay, let's go with the podcast example for a second. So if you fill in the podcast title and description, I also want you to make sure that you go and you check the box if you haven't already for podcast too. That way it will duplicate the task into your podcast list so that if you are super overwhelmed by seeing every single piece of content that you have to batch in the folder, you can actually go to the list. I don't have anything on podcast right now, but we'll go to Instagram. You will literally only see the Instagram content that you need to batch. Okay. So I've actually been using this for, um, batching my content for the launch of this generator, which is like an inception moment for me, (laughs) but it's been so helpful. So like right here is my free Facebook group series, the series that you're watching right now. I literally have created the structure for it right here. All of my notes are within each of these pieces, and I have been able to go through and make sure that content is batched. I've been talking about it in stories. That's why it's an, um, it says Instagram here. It should have changed all of these to Facebook, but since it's living in the Instagram folder, um, it shows Facebook right here, which is something I need to check on. Um, but this is my free Facebook group series that I've been talking about the individual pieces on Instagram. So I literally batched out the information. Um, you can see up here that I, batched out a reel. I have the hashtags created. I have a drop down for the different options of the hashtag sets. And when you select one, it changes your hashtags here when it um, refreshes the page. And I actually talk you through in your how to use, how to set that up. So your personal hashtag groupings can be added to this and that you can figure out what you want to use. Um, I then go into like the goal of the post. If I have a URL inspiration for a reel of like an audio that I want to use, I can hold that there. Like this is going to change the game for how you content create, how you batch content, how you maximize your ideas and how you don't lose any ideas anymore. And then once you're ready to post it, you have the opportunity to auto post by Zapier. Now I gave you a very, very, very detailed overview of the generator in its raw form because you see all of my crap and we found a few bugs while we were looking through this. That's why it's not launched yet. So you can see how potent this is going to be, how amazing this is going to be, how much it's going to change your your whole flow. And just think coupled with the content power hours that I'm going to be hosting that are literally going to be all about you guys making sure that you can use this in a way that's going to benefit you and help you move the pieces through the puzzle and get to know how to use this really well and maybe even customize it for you. Are you overwhelmed with something? Okay, let me hop in there with you and I'll edit it so it makes more sense sense, right? Customizable content generator, like literally freaking amazing. Um, But anyways, I could talk about that all day. So like, yes, your bonus thing down here has how to set up your hashtag sets and all that, but your um, Zapier auto posting folder here If you run a Facebook group, you can set up, and if you have like weekly threads that you like to post every single week, you can set up that to recur on a schedule. So you literally never have to schedule a post in those Facebook groups anymore. And I include all of this stuff in the generator. Like I literally want to make sure that you have fun, you show up and provide value for your audience without any more excuses, without any more worries, without any more obstacles getting in your way of showing up and providing value, because I know that you can hack into your creativity. It's just that you're overwhelmed with your thoughts. You're overwhelmed with not having ideas, which is not actually the obstacle that you're experiencing. You're just not knowing how to ignite your creativity or organize and store the content. So Zapier integration is super easy. Um, 
I'm going to be giving you guys access to allow me to set all this stuff up for you so you don't have to figure out how to do it or troubleshoot it because I've literally been in the trenches setting this up so that I know how to do this. So it'll take me a quick second to set yours up for you if that's something that you want to add on to this. But that was the content generator. <laughs> freaking amazing all of my posts lately except for like a few handful of random reels that I've been inspired um, to create right in the moment have been created and saved through this system and I'm just wildly obsessed with it so I hope that that was intriguing for you and if you are interested in hearing more about that please feel free to shoot me a dm on instagram my instagram is at sydney delucci or even going to, um, where are we at right now? Going into the comments <laughs> and just asking me any questions that you have in the Facebook group. I tend to the comments after the show, the, the show, <laughs> the live is over. So yeah, now that I am stumbling over my words, I'm going to uh, bring this to a close, but let's see what we're talking about next Tuesday, next Tuesday in our free Facebook group, the Wildly You Collective. We are talking about, where did it go? Number five, batching, maximizing, and organizing your content. We're going to be talking about all these things. So maximizing your content, how to make sure that you're creating really bomb content ideas when you are being inspired so that you can maximize it, organize it, and batch it all without confusing yourself. That's what we're going to be hitting on on Tuesday. Same time, same place, 3 p.m. Eastern, maybe a touch later on Tuesdays. I have uh, my mastermind running currently, so we meet on Tuesdays around that time. So it might be a little later. If it's later, don't worry. I'll still be here. And I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend and a fantastic rest of your day. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out. I am an open book, and I would love to have a conversation with you.